Hello everyone, my name is Palms to Mayui, and we're back for another edition of Palms to Mayui's personal best opinions on Pokemon. So for this edition, it will be about Porygon, and for some reason my text file just freaked out. You saw the next Pokemon, so there you go, a little spoiler for you. Whatever, anyway. <laughs> just stuff like that happens sometimes. Jeez, what is that glare? I don't know, maybe that's just me saying that, but I don't know. But anyway, the moves for Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal. Uh, gold, Silver, Crystal, Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, Fire, Red, and Leaf, Green. First of all, Psybeam. Psybeam is 65 power, 100 accuracy, special psychic type attack. And, um, I believe, yeah, it's a 10% chance to confuse whoever uses it against. So, pretty much what the confusion status effect does is when a Pokemon's confused, there's a chance they could hit themselves or hit through confusion, and then it'll keep going through that whole thing each turn when you use a move until it says you snapped out of confusion. So, yeah. And then for Tri-Attack, Tri-Attack is 80 power, 100 accuracy, special, normal type attack. And this has a 10% chance to freeze, paralyze, or burn whoever uses the Ken. So, let's start off with the Frozen status effect. So, when you're frozen, this is like one of the most overpowered status effects. Um, pretty much, it's just like you can't do anything. Until you thaw out, you literally can't do anything. You're just frozen solid. So, pretty overpowered. <laughs> And then the burn status effect. Pretty much when you're burned, you take a bit of damage each turn, but also your uh, normal attack stack is cut in half. Like there's a special attack and there's a physical attack. It would be your like normal attack is for like physical attacks. So yeah, it will cut your physical attack in half. And that's really good, of course, for just like not only whittling a Pokemon, but if they're actually using a lot of physical attacks, it'll weaken them a lot with their power. And then for paralysis, paralysis makes it to where when a Pokemon's paralyzed, um, they most there's a chance that they will say they're paralyzed and can't move, and it just cancels out their move that turn. And then also their speed is cut in half, so you most likely will outspeed them, whoever they are, unless they are like super fast. So yeah. And then Zap Cannon, I have this with Lock On, and there's a reason why. So Zap Cannon is 120 power, 50 accuracy, special electric type attack, and I believe the percentage of uh, paralyzing whoever uses it against, I believe it's 30%. And then for Lock On, um, this is a 100 accuracy status normal type move, and pretty much what this does, the next move, or when wh whoever you use this against on a Pokemon, whatever the next move that you use on that Pokemon is, it would instantly hit. So that's why there's something like that on the move set, uh, like Zap King, because it's a horrible accuracy move, but there's a move like Lock On to where it's like, makes it instantly hit, so it's nice. And then for Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, Black, White, Black 2, White 2, XY, Mega Ruby, Alpha, Sapphire, Sun, Moon, Ultra Sun, and Ultra Moon. The only, only thing different here is instead of side beam, you actually want signal beam. Signal beam is a 75 power, 100 accuracy, special bug type attack. It has the same percentage to confuse as side beam, which is 10 percent. So yeah. And then for Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, um, there is Hyper Beam and Thunder Wave. Those are the new ones. So, because the other ones you couldn't get in there, so yeah, I just went with these. So Hyper Beam is 150 power, 90 accuracy, special. Um, normal type attack, and this is pretty much like the most common of moves uh, that's like super powerful, like you always hear like, oh, use Hyper Beam, and then yeah, it's like, it's crazy. It's really good, but it's really bad at the same time, because when, after you use it, um, if it does hit, you pretty much have to recharge the next turn, so you can't switch out, you can't do any moves the next turn, so yeah, <laughs> pretty scary, but it's really good, it's just powerful. And then Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave is a 100 accuracy status electric type move, and when you use this against uh, whoever you use this against, um, pretty much it just puts the paralysis status effect on. So it's a really good, like I said, status effect in general if it's guaranteed most of the time. And yeah, it's pretty nice. And then the held item for Pokemon, Gold, Silver, Crystal, Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, Fire Red, and Leaf Green. Uh, they both have the same effect to boost the power of normal type moves by 10%. But, um, yeah. It's like called Pink Bow in the older generations, and the current generations it's just called Silk Scarf. And if I didn't already say it, it boosts the power normal type boost by 10%. I think I did, but just in case it didn't, then there you go. And then for Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, Heart Gold, Silk Silver, Black, White, Black 2, White 2, XY, Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire. So for offline, you want the Life Orb. You know what the Life Orb does? This boosts the power of physical and special type attacks on a Pokemon by 30%. But every time they do damage, they'll be taking a bit of damage depending on how much they've done. So. Yeah, you'll be a lot doing, doing a lot more power with all your attacks, but each of your attacks will also damage you a bit as well. 
So, online. So the rule about held items in an online battle is when a held item gets used in an online battle, you'll be getting the held item right back after the battle's done. So, um, pretty much, it's really good for the items like the Focus Sash, which are really annoying to grind for, and pretty much what the Focus Sash does, it pretty much makes it to where you're at full health and would have got one shot is you always live with one health. So as long as you don't get confused, fatuated, flinched, paralyzed, uh, frozen, or asleep, you'll always get one move off, and that can always make the difference. And then for Pokemon Sun, Moon, Ultra Sun, and Ultra Moon, same item for online the Focus Sash, but for offline it's the Bug Indium Z. This is mainly just to boost up the power of that signal beam, and also Z moves never miss, so it's pretty nice. And then for Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, there are no hell items. Now the ability. There is three total abilities for Porygon. I'll go ahead and explain the hidden ability first. So the hidden ability for Porygon is called... Um, actually... I actually do not remember what the hidden ability is. Uh, I'll just say the basic ability and the other one. So the ba other basic ability is called Trace. Trace makes it to where when you send out with a Pokemon with Trace onto the field, um, if it's multiple Pokemon, I think it's random who it chooses, or it's just the one that's in front of you, or if it's one-on-one, -on -one, then it'll just be that one, so, it pretty much copies their ability, so it could be really good. I just don't remember that hidden ability. What is that hidden ability? I don't even know. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, the one I chose was Analytic, and pretty much what this does is when your Pokemon goes last, and they use a move, it'll actually be a lot stronger because they went last in the turn, so, it boosts it by, like, 1.5% I think it says. Uh, you can look up the exact power boost, but it's good because Porygon is pretty slow. So yeah, this works out perfectly. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. So if you enjoyed, if you'd be so kind to support me by donating to my Patreon, as long as you're not putting yourself in a bad spot by doing so, of course, but feel free to. Link is in the description down below. But anyways, I've been your host, Paul Stamayoi, and goodbye.